Welcome to another edition of Handicap Born Black in America. And I'm your host, Ramon Roan, and this is being brought to you by Judicial Freedom Riders Incorporated. You can find us on the World Wide Web at www.jfrinc.org. Today's topic is entitled, Is It Time for Paula Dean to Get a Second Chance? Recently, um, Steve Harvey was being blasted by um, Dr. Uh, Boyce Watkins about Paula Dean becoming a mentor and mentoring to the youth for Steve Harvey. Now, I have a problem with this. Yeah, I know that there may be not be a uh, many black you black mentors out there for um, our black kids, but we don't need we don't need Paula Dean. Let me explain. It was only last year that Paula Dean and this racism thing kicked in. Last year. What has happened between now and last year? Now keep in mind, this woman was born in 1947. There's a lot of racism that could possibly be inside of her. And it's gone in one year. This last year, she got kicked off the air. Last year in a lawsuit. And she should be given a, a chance to mentor who? Now, if she's going to mentor other racists, okay. But she's going to mentor black kids? For what? We don't need her. There's plenty of black mentors that would be good for her to um, would be good for those kids. Go get Magic Johnson. He's a good uh, he, he's a good he's a good one to go get. Go get um, Jamal uh, Mashburn. He's another one. That I think would go get um, um, what's the guy named Lonzo Mourning. Go get him. But Paula Dean? Now that don't even make sense. Now I can understand. Look. Um, like I said, born in 1947, what we heard through the case, that lawsuit that she, that uh, that Paula Dean was involved in, um, and which caused her to lose her show, what we heard about that is that that's only the tip of the iceberg. Let me tell you something about racist people. What you see in court is only the tip of the iceberg. We don't know what they say amongst each other. Believe me, let me tell you something. I've been in a discrimination lawsuit for 15 years. And by the way, maybe maybe uh, maybe Steve Harvey ought to give her about 15 years to see if she can recover from that. But but to understand this is that when white racists are amongst each other, they say some despicable racist things about black people and of others that do not look like them. I think it's wrong. Um, look, okay, is it, if, is it the Christian thing to do? Yeah, I don't know if she repented. I sure don't know. She got, she sorry, got she got caught. Yeah, that's true. But how do we know she repented? Oh, because Steve said so. You know, I have a great respect for Steve Harvey. I do. I, I have a great respect for him, and um, I think. But I don't have to agree with everything he does. And I'm sure that he doesn't even know me. Heck, he don't know me from a can of paint. But that's for now. <laughs> but I, I have great respect for him. For what he, where Steve Harvey has come from. I listened to this man's testimony. This man said he was living in his car. He's living in his car. And to where he's at now, I got a great respect for him, man. You know, he, hey, I got, I got much, much, much props on him. However... This thing here with the Paula Dean, I think, uh, I think there are other, there there should be other available choices for mentoring. There's there should be many many other mentors that these young kids, um, black kids, could now if he, now if she's mentoring, from what I understand, um, that there would be mentoring black kids, but if she's mentoring some white kids, that would be a problem too. 
<laughs> she can say, look, here's what I can do. I can get in trouble for, for a call to using the N-word and, and degrading uh, my employees. Uh, and then um, and I can get a black I can get a black celebrity to support me and to bring me back. No, no. I think it's wrong. I think I don't think enough time has passed. I think there needs to be she probably need to go in the black community and donate some time and money if she can. However, that's my opinion. Um, you can have yours. I got mine. Please um, visit our website because this has been another edition of Handicap Born Black in America. Uh, visit our website at www.jfrinc.org and uh, subscribe to this channel. We need members, but we also need subscribers. Both subscribing and becoming a member for $36 for one year help the cause. The cause is to reform our justice system. Many brown people, black and brown people, we don't get due process. The Constitution guarantees us, well, guarantees the white man due process. But the black man see, and the brown man seem not to get due process. And we need to fight for that. And that means that we need to get the right elected officials to put the right judges in there. And then we also need to get the bad judges off of the bench. Again, please visit our website, www.jfrinc.org. My name is Ramon Roan, and this has been another edition of Handicap Born Black in America.